Hello, this is Jason Ledbetter with the Sunfrog Academy, and in this training video, you're going to learn about the Facebook Pixel and everything you need to know about the Facebook Pixel. You see, the Facebook Pixel is extremely important when investing into paid advertising on Facebook. Without the Pixel, you don't know how your ads are performing, and you can't make educated, smart decisions on what to do next. The Facebook Pixel is a piece of code for your website that enables you to measure, optimize, and build audiences for your ad campaign. Now, do not get worried about me saying the word code because I'm going to show you, especially when using Sunfrog platform, how easy it is to set up the Facebook Pixel. As a matter of fact, you don't even have to install any code. Now, some of these bullets you may not quite understand, but as we go deeper into this video, you will start to understand and all the dots will start to get connected. However, let's go through these bullets really quick and then we're going to go over the shoulder and I'm going to show you in real time what all this means. Okay, so the Facebook pixel, it allows you to track events. Now, an event is like view content, add to cart, purchase. So if someone clicks your ad and views your content, that is considered an event. If someone adds a product to the cart, that's considered an event. And if someone makes a purchase, that's also considered an event. Facebook actually has a lot of standard events, such as view content, which tracks key page views like product page, landing page article, search, tracks searches on your website, add to cart, tracks when items are added to a shopping cart, uh, initiate checkout, add payment info, track when payment information is added in the checkout flow, Make purchase, track purchase or checkout. Lead, track when someone expresses interest in your offer by maybe submitting a form and completes registration. So maybe they complete a subscription or even a webinar sign up. The Pixel also tracks stats, so how many times an event happened. So let's say that you was running an ad and you got five purchases. You will see in your reports, you will see five purchases. It also tracks calls per click or calls per event. The Pixel also pixels people who engage with your ads and website. It builds custom audiences that you can promote. So for an example, if you have 100 people purchase, you can build an audience of those 100 people that purchased and you can retarget them with more future advertisements. Keep in mind, you can only create one Facebook Pixel per account. So if you've already created your Pixel, you won't see the Create Pixel button. Now, the Pixel automatically builds audiences of website visitors that you can retarget. Like I was saying up here, you can build audiences of all your purchases, all your add to carts, and all your view content, and you can target those people with ads later. You can create audiences for people who take a certain action on your website, like visited a product page, added to cart, or purchased a product. You can also create lookalike audiences, so you can find more people who are similar to your best customer. So for an example, when you create an audience of your purchases, let's just say that you had 500 purchases, 500 customers. You can also create a lookalike audience where you're going to ask Facebook to go find more people that match the same type of details of the people that purchased. And then you can run ads to lookalike audiences of your customers. And you can also access audience insights so you can get rich insights about the people who visited your website, such as the demographic, what type of interest they're into, what type of pages they like, and a bunch of really cool details that can help you make better decisions with your advertising. So now let's go over the shoulder and create your pixel. Okay, so now we're in the business manager and you just go to business.facebook.com. And if you haven't set up the business manager yet, I suggest watch the business manager training video here at the academy. So we're just gonna come up here to the menu and we're gonna go to all tools. And then under assets, you'll see pixels. So we're just gonna click pixel. So you just wanna make sure that you're in the correct ad account. Let's say that you have multiple ad accounts. You wanna make sure that in the drop down here that this is the ad account you wanna set up the pixel for. So now that you're here in the correct ad account, you are just going to click create a pixel. And then you're just going to name the pixel. So I usually just name it whatever the ad account is. So my ad account's Jason Allen Agency. So Jason Allen Agency pixel is fine. And then you just click next. And just that fast and easy, you have created your Facebook pixel for your ad account. Okay, and now you're going to want to install your Pixel, and the cool thing is if you're using the Sunfrog platform, it's super easy. You do not even have to 
install any code. So we'll just click copy and paste the code. Okay, so now we're going to grab our code and we can just copy this whole code and throw it in a notepad. We actually only need the pixel ID, which is right here. And you can verify that by looking here. It's the one that's highlighted, you see. So it's here and it's also here too. But we just want to copy that little ID there. That's all we have to do. And then we're going to hop on over to sunfrog.com. And I'm just going to go to the bottom and log in. And if you haven't signed up yet at Sunfrog, it's completely free. Just go ahead and, and sign up for Sunfrog. Okay, and once you're logged in, you're just going to click Traffic Conversion Tracking. And right here it says Facebook Pixel ID. And you're just going to pop in the Pixel ID and click Save. And that's all you have to do. And now you are able to start tracking events on Sunfrog. Okay, now we want to check that our pixel is firing correctly. So I recommend adding the Facebook Pixel Helper. And it's a Chrome extension, so you have to be on Chrome. And don't worry, I have the link here. You just click this link and you click Add to Chrome. And what that's going to do is that's going to give you this little extension up here. And now when I come over to Sunfrog, and keep in mind, you have to use your seller ID that you get whenever you set up your account. But I have my seller ID here at the end of a product that I'm interested in promoting. And then you can see the pixel helper fires off. So if I click that, we can see that there's two pixels. And one of these pixels is the Sunfrog pixel, and the other pixel is our pixel. So if we come back, we can see 9602. And when we click the pixel helper, we can see... 9602 fires off for review content. Then when I go to add to cart, you can see the pixel helper fires off again, 9602, and now it's view content, add to cart. And then whenever I go to purchase, it will also show the purchase. And I have a video training here at the Academy on Facebook reports, so I highly recommend you to watch Facebook reports. Now, if we were to hop back over to the ads manager here in pixels, if we refresh, we should see our pixel dashboard now. And now you can see the pixel dashboard and see here's our pixel ID last received in the last hour. And you can see that we've had pixels that are being fired off. So we have view content. One thing to keep in mind when you're creating ads, you definitely want to select your purchase pixel. And this will turn green whenever we turn the ad on because we've already verified that the pixel is live. But you always want to select your pixel when you're creating ads. So on their website conversion, you can select pixel here. And in other conversion sets, such as clicks to website or boost your post, you would select pixel here on the ad level. So under advanced options, pixel tracking, track all conversions. And you want to make sure that you select the pixel because if you don't select the pixel, it's not going to be tracked. You're not going to be able to track your clicks and your events. And last in Sunfrog, I just want to show you one last thing. If you're using Sunfrog, you can come here to create a collection, put new collection. I'll call this dogs create. And then I can add a bunch of different dogs shirts to my collection. So I'll just search dogs and I'll just add a bunch of them. And what I want to show you is right here, custom campaign tracking. You can actually pop in your pixel here as well. Save changes. And when I go to this link, my collection link of dogs, which is like my storefront with all my dogs, with all my dog products, you can see that the pixel fires off for collections too. Okay, so in this training video, you've learned how to set up your Facebook Pixel and everything you need to know about the Facebook Pixel.